your Autolite dealer presents your favorite friends from Gasoline Alley. Hold it, Wilmer. Hold it till I get this phone. Okay, Skazex. Wallet and Bobble Garage, Skazex Wallet speaking. What's that? Yes, sir, we can fix it. We can fix anything on four wheels. Sure, we'll be waiting for you right here in Gasoline Alley. Yes, it's Gasoline Alley, the comic strip that's a favorite in more than a hundred great newspapers from coast to coast. In this episode, the adventure of Fortune's favorite fool, the boys run afoul of fast talk, phony finance, and the fickle finger of fate. But first, a word from the friendly Autolite dealer in your own hometown. And now, Gasoline Alley. <laughs> There's a slight lull in business at the Wallet and Bobble Garage this morning, so Skeezix and Wilmer are restocking their shelves with new garage supplies. Actually, Skeezix is doing most of the work while his partner, Wilmer Bobble, is overseeing things. There. There's another carton of spark plugs. Uh, you haven't got it quite straight in the display rack, Skeezix. A little more to the right. Why don't you do something, Wilmer? Skazex, can't you see I'm keeping a tally sheet? Somebody's got to do the brain work. Careful, don't strain yourself. Listen, what I've been doing is important. Oh, sure. I open a heavy crate and lug stuff over to the shelf. And, and... I put a check mark on a list to show that the stuff is in stock. That's bookkeeping, Skazex. All and right, very... Wilmer. While I've been working, that... What's that book you've been reading? Uh... Did, 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 did you say, um, book? Book, Wilmer. There, that little paper-bound thing under the tally sheet. Oh, this isn't a book, Skeezix. There's never been a book as important as this. Looks like a book to me. What is it? Oh, it's nothing, Skeezix. Nothing at all. Gosh, look at all that new stuff on the shelves. Spark plugs, batteries, ignition parts. Uh, uh, Wilmer, I've been thinking about widening our line of stuff. Now, wait a minute, Jesus. I think we might sell more if we had a bigger line of things to sell. Oh, sure, sure, but uh, let's uh, let's talk about it tomorrow, huh? Tomorrow? Wilmer, you're acting a little strange. Nothing strange about me, Skeezix. Just playing things safe. Now, I figure it this way. A lot of people would buy new cars if they could get new cars. They can't get new cars, so what do they do? They get mad and cuss the dealer. It isn't the dealer's fault, Wilmer. No. They try to make the old car look the best they can. They buy new accessories, new radiator caps, new horns, new lights and hubcaps, new paint jobs, oh, please, new... Please, Skeezix, let's, uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. Wilmer, why do you keep talking about tomorrow? Well, I, uh, I didn't want to tell you, but um, what I was reading was my horoscope. Well, what if it was your horoscope? Don't be silly. Silly, he says. Here, just let me read you my horoscope for today, and we'll see you silly. Wilmer, you don't believe in those things. Here, to just listen to what it says. Now, this is for me, see? Now, listen, if you insist. Yeah, yeah, listen. Just, just listen. <clears throat> Today, the influences over your fortune are most excellent. All right, but what has that got to do with us putting in a new line of stock? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't finish. Now, just, just listen, listen. Mm -hmm. However, beware that one near you is not swindled in a business deal. That's you, Skeezix, so the day is bad for you. And that's all a lot of nonsense, Wilmer. Oh, wait, here comes a customer. Speaking of gadgets, Skeezix, wow, look at him. Yeah, he's got them all, hasn't he? Look at that radiator cap on a working flag in neon. Wait, wait, Wilmer. Yes, sir, what can we do for you? Good morning, gentlemen, good morning. 
Carney's the name, J.P. Carney, and it's a great pleasure to meet two such outstanding business leaders. Yes, sir. Oh, it's not nice to meet you, too, Mr. Carney. Wow, what a radiator cow. Well, what can we do for you, sir? Correction, honored sir. It's what I can do for you. Plenty, I assure you, and a great profit to you and your distinguished colleague here. Uh, do, do you mean me, Mr. Carney? Indeed I do. I can tell a coming captain of business and industry when I see one. Yes, sir. Now, gentlemen, I've got a present for each of you. Here. There you are. Gosh, a fountain pen. Well, thanks, Mr. Carney. Not an but... ordinary fountain pen. Oh, no. <laughs> Just one of the many novelties in my line. Now, with this phantom pen, fellas, you can flabbergast your friends. It friend. looks like an ordinary pen to me. Ah, uh, but it isn't. You'll write something with this pen, and in five minutes, everything you've written fades away without a trace, completely disappears. Well, thank you, Mr. Carney, but... Ah, but that's uh, just one of the many novelties I sell. I got a million of them, a million of them. Well, I've been thinking of adding some auto novelties. Six the horoscope. I got a million of them, and listen, for you gents only, if you pay cash in advance... You get half off. Now, gents, just let me show you my catalog. Thanks, you... Mr. Carney, but... Three, but... six. I'll get the phone, Wilma. Yes, Keith. And while you answer it, I'll just make sure you don't disobey my horoscope and get into trouble. Wallet and Bobble Garage, Skizik speaking. This is Chief of Police Snaffle, Skizik. Why, hello, Chief Snaffle. How are you? Fine. Now, listen, Skizik. We're looking for a fast-talking crook who's driving a car with a lot of gadgets on it. Why, you must mean Mr. J.P. Carney. Yeah, yeah, that's the crook, Chip Carney. Have you seen him? Why, he's here now trying to sell us some stuff. Oh, Skeezix, do anything. Hold him till I get there. Can you do it? Why, sure, Chief. I'll just tell him I want to buy some of his novelties. Hold on while I tell him to wait for me. Hold on. Mr. Carney, I think I will buy some of your... Mr. Carney... Wilmer! Holy smoke. Hello, Chief Snaffle, hello. Are you holding him there, Skeezix? I don't understand it, Chief. Mr. Carney has gone. And Wilmer's gone with him. Gasoline Alley and the adventure of Fortune's favorite fool. Chief of Police Snaffle is now at the garage, but he arrived too late to catch the fast-talking crook, Jip Carney. Jip disappeared, and Wilmer went along with him. At the moment, police are combing the city, and Chief Snaffle is saying to Skeezix, Do you think Jip overheard you talking to me on the phone, Skeezix? No, Chief, I'm sure he didn't. There's the phone there in the office, and Mr. Carney was out front with Wilmer. Eh... Uh... I can't understand Wilmer going away with him. No, neither can I. But just how does Mr. Carney work his crooked deals? Well, he sells all kinds of novelties and gadgets. Then he tells his victim he'll knock 50% off if the buyer will pay cash before delivery. That seems like a funny way to do business. Uh, reputable businessmen don't fall for that kind of deal, especially with somebody they don't know. You see, after Carney gets the money, that's the last the victim ever hears from him. Well, I'm glad we didn't buy anything from him. Hey, excuse me. Isn't that Wilmer coming in the garage? Yes. Yes, and he's got a package under his arm. Hi, Skeezix. Hi, Chief Snap. Oh, Wilmer, what about Mr. Carney? Yeah, Wilmer. Where's Jip Carney? Where is he? Well, I don't know where he is by now. Wilmer, you left here with him, didn't you? Oh, sure, Skeezix. But Mr. Carney left me off in front of the bank, so I walked back. Why didn't you stay with him, Wilmer? The police are looking... Never mind, Skeezix. Never mind. The police are looking for him, and he won't get far. That radiator cap of his, that American flag in neon, you can spot that car a mile away. Well, now, about that radiator cap, Chief Snapple, uh, that uh, American flag in neon, you see, I... Don't worry about it, Wilmer. We'll catch him. I was just saying to Skeezix, I'm glad Skeezix didn't buy anything from Jim. Oh, I wouldn't have let Skeezix get in any kind of deal today. That's why I took Mr. Carney away from the garage. Wilmer, you took Mr. Carney away? Well, sure, Skeezix. My horoscope, remember? It said the influences on my fortune are excellent for today, but to beware that someone near me didn't get swindled. Wilmer... 
exchanges. Well, what, what, are you, what are you looking at me like that for? Wilmer, did you buy anything for Mr. Carney? Buy anything? Wait till you hear. Yes, sir. By paying in advance, I got 500 bucks worth of stuff for only $100. Wilmer, Jip Carney is a crook, and you gave him $100 of our good cash money? Well, it wasn't cash. I give him a check, see? Huh? A check, Wilmer? Oh, that's all right, Skeezix. You can stop the check at the bank. Uh, uh, crook. Uh, uh, the, the fact... Is cheap. I, I I gave him the check and he um uh, he uh insisted on driving to the bank with me. I uh I I, I I I guess he's cashed it by now. Oh, Wilmer, how could you have done it? Well, how was I to know? I mean, I didn't. Know. There you what? are, Wilmer Bubble, you swindler, you cheat. Oh, holy smoke! It's Mister Carney. Yes, Wilmer Bubble, and I shall report you to the police immediately, at once. I'll have you in jail. Uh, in well, what did I do, Mister Carney? What did you do, you swindler? You signed that check with the phantom pen I gave you. I tried to cash it, and it was a blank. Well, honest, I didn't mean to do it, Mr. Carney. It was a mistake, sir. Yes, Jip Carney. And you made a mistake, too. Huh? I'm chief of police, Snaffle, and you're under arrest. Police? Uh, but, but, but you're not in uniform. You're, you're not wearing... Here's my badge, since you insist on being formal. Uh, come along, Connie. Now, wait a no minute. trouble uh, now. Come on. I'll, just, why you I'll send for his car. I, I haven't done it. Come on, Connie. Wow, Mr. Carney, a crook. Yes, Wilmer. And you see the trouble you almost got us into? You and your silly horoscope. But Skeezix, the horoscope was right. Like fun. It said you'd have good fortune. You almost lost us a hundred dollars. Oh, but I got something in exchange. Huh? I wouldn't make the deal unless Mr. Carney gave it to me. Luck. Look at this, Wilmer. The radiator cap. Yes, sir, Skeezix. The wallet and Baba Garage is going to have the only tow truck in town that flies the American flag in neon. <laughs> Your Gasoline Alley friends will be back in just a moment. Now, a word from your own Autolite dealer. Now, a word about the next adventure in Gasoline Alley. Here's Skeezix. Oh, now, wait a minute, Wilmer. You say Uncle Walt is mad at Doc Avery? He was mad at him, Skeezix. They were both awful mad. Each one thought the other banged up his car. They were threatening to punch each other in the eye. But, Wilmer, what happened? Just trying to be helpful. I told him I banged up their cars. Skeezix, do you know what's good for a black eye? <laughs> Thank you.